storminess will begin to subside somewhat. It'll start pushing more towards the east. So that does mean areas of rain along Interstate 10 dipping into the Suwannee Valley, but less coverage and not as strong once we go past 10 o'clock. We'll actually have a break in the rain activity in the early phase of your Saturday morning, but the front is slow to move. The clusters of storms will move out, but the front itself that triggered this it's just going to crawl its way across our region. So that will be a focus for redeveloping patchy showers in the morning. Add a little bit of heating. We can see more storms firing off, favoring eastern areas, it appears, for the time being. So that's where the risk for scattered strong or even isolated severe storms will be for tomorrow with full rain accumulations uh, before all is said and done by the end of tomorrow night. About three quarters of an inch to an inch in some of the highest totals, lesser amounts across our eastern areas. But you can still get maybe a local downpour that gives you a quick half inch in a short amount of time. So the scattered nature of severe thunderstorms will be a little more confined to our eastern areas for tomorrow, mostly in the afternoon. And that does not mean everybody gets in on rough weather. In fact, some areas may have some partial sunshine, but any storms that will be around for tonight, wind gusts will be the primary risk. And if that tornado watch gets extended by chance, we'll certainly let you know here on first to know weather. The extended forecast does have some drier conditions for Sunday, Monday into the first part of Tuesday. Cooler air too, drier air pushing lows in the 40s. Another round of thunderstorms possible on Wednesday. Some of those could be potent too. We'll